your boy, Faith Up Sam, and I'm here with the crew of Tap to Tap to Tap. Tap in. It's your girl, Evie. Just Evie. No. All right. Your humble host is with us, JD. Yes, sir. Back in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we have the one and only Big M. Not, Not the, the little, little one. one. Put some respect on that. Put some respect. All right. And with us today, we have a special guest. Uh, this is uh, one of our dear friends. And, uh, you know, it's one of my best friends. Um, you know, we've known each other for a minute now. I think decades, right? Decades. Uh, it's the one and only Jules. All it's right. yet in the building. Hey. Let's go. Listen, it's an honor, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Man, man, you know, it's an honor to have you here, man. So today's topic, we're going to talk a little bit uh, about a range marriages. Listen, man. <laughs> right. right. Start right. I... Yo, why did my heart just drop? I don't know. Uh, everybody went, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm already married. Like, Listen, yo. yo. So, before we start this, honestly, because obviously I want to get y'all take on the brand, but I just want to give you guys a quick synopsis, a quick history behind it. And before I do that, right, I literally went to look for different ways or different history behind right the, um arranged marriages okay and apparently um it was happening all over the world so i just want to give you like a quick a quick definition before right we start? before yeah. we start so it's pretty much a um ageless tradition right it's really from the east eastern western society right, right? Mm -hmm. and and back then it was mostly done for alliances Right. So that um, families don't marry within families, right. Mm -hmm. right? And also because you know it became uh, a tradition, right? So the more and more that I looked into it, I found that it was um, as well. Like you have, uh, um, in the English monarchy side, you have Princess Diana and that was the ring. Princess Charles. Oh yeah, well yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That, that so, makes sense. With yeah. that being said, right, because obviously it's all over the world, and you have small villages, right, in in Africa, mm -hmm. um, it's it's popular in India, and even in some um societies today. Right. What do you guys think of it? Like as far as like the pros and cons when it comes to marriages, what do you guys think? I believe there's more pros, just cons. Already. So you I can go ahead with your pros. <laughs> You went out the gate. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead, Marjorie. Give us your cons. My cons. It's just, it's a no for me. No, no, no. Okay. But what's the I reason behind like, your no, though? Because, how should I say this? Take your time. <laughs> just take your time. <laughs> take my time. <laughs> I, I when you arrange your... somebody, uh -huh. okay, if you arrange me with somebody, you take away from my, my dating experience. Okay. You take over my dating experience. Um, also, when I get married to the person, I'm mm -hmm. not marrying you out of love. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I also feel like it's about financial stability. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Is, is every arranged marriage about financial stability? In 2023, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> So are you talking about the modern day uh, arranged marriage or like, what, like, what we know it, you know, as like, you know, two families coming together and wanting, you know, their their kids, you know, to, to be with one another because they want that gener generational wealth to stay within those families. Like, but it's honestly not like that anymore. Okay. So give me, give me that side of it. Now I feel like, okay, it's more so like a business. Mm. But it's not marriage and, and exchange. It's like a transaction. It's but a it's trans different. Marriage is not a transaction. If he needs something, yeah. he's going to pay me $20,000. What is this? Oh, okay. I, 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 well, okay. Well, what is going on? Well, I, I think that's different, if you don't mind me to chip in. That's yeah. a different interpretation of arranged marriage. Right. right. What, when you think of arranged marriage, even in the Bible, you will see there's arranged marriage. Mm -hmm. For example, you see Abraham, right? Correct. Um, before he died, he told one of his servants to go find a wife for Isaac. Oh, yes. Correct. And they, he sent the servant to a land, to a different land, and the servant brought a wife to Isaac. And from there, Isaac married um, okay. Rebecca, right? 
And there's also other passages in the Bible where you see the marriage is arranged. And statistically, uh, one of the reasons I support arranged marriage is because the divorce rate is very low. So, oh, that's according a, that's to the Census bro. Bureau, is only, I believe, 4% in, our, in, the of, in the United States of arranged marriage that goes into divorce, contrary to marriage by choice. And there's a reason for that. And before I get into it, I just... You want to talk about that, you know? So, so, you, you, know? so you agree to arranged marriages? Yes. Mind you, I have four kids. Uh -huh. and, you guys, <laughs> and I, I would want the best for them. Right. And I would want to be involved in the decision-making process mm -hmm. and, and of the future. Because, to be honest with you guys, we don't always make the right decisions. Mm -hmm. And we always have to rely on the advice of our parents. Because why? Because some, they're wiser, they have that experience. And, they're, and, and they're also in the best interest of us. So I think once we get them involved in the decision-making process, they'll support us and they'll be more involved into the marriage just in case there's a problem, they'll be more invested in. But that's not them arranging you. That's them giving you advice. That's true. Now, w when it comes to the arranged marriage part is, let's say, Samuel, you have kids. I right. have kids, right. right? And I could come up to you. I'd be like, you know what, Samuel? Let's look to see. Of course, in the future, nothing right, now right, because right. they they're still young. Yeah. We got young kids, and kids. before they go out there and make a foolish. In, immature decision, foolish, right? foolish decision, yeah. right? I would come and sit down with brother Sam. I say, hey, what what do, what do you think about your kids getting with my kids? Because now I know Samuel. Samuel knows me. My kids know Samuel. And his kids know my kids. So I have, I will be in the best interest of my kids because I know that I'm investing in my kids into Samuel's kid because I know Samuel. Samuel's good parents. I know his wife. In my, in my, in my opinion, that's what I think about arranged marriage. So before we go any further, I don't want to take away from No, no, no that's you're actually good. a great point. You're good. Right? I just want to hear real quick. Because you, you, you were itching over here. What's your take on this? Okay, so one of the pros for arranged marriage is um, the same value. Because mm -hmm. if you, because I feel like, for example, somebody can arrange somebody for you, they want to make sure if you agree to them, you know, mm -hmm. they're still in the same group. And mm -hmm. that's a total pro. And I am for arranged marriage. Because I feel like back then, the definition of arranged was for business, more likely than in today's generation. Because the reason why I'm saying this, because back then it was like, the family wanted to, you know, to keep that wealth and you want to make sure, because mm -hmm. your daughter, you know, it was more like a property. I'm going to give it to this person and then this person is going to get married. Mm -hmm. But now, then I'm thinking the definition of arranged marriage is different because now I'm seeing different TV show, marriage at first sight, mm -hmm. like I'm seeing dating, all those things in that arranged, the bachelorette mm -hmm. in that arranged, because you don't know the person. You get to know 90 day fiance. All of those are arranged marriage. And I, I feel like you can. <laughs> so you can change it up because. I feel like back then women didn't have a voice to say anything because you were more likely viewed as a property for the parents. Like you have a beautiful daughter, you're gonna make sure I'm gonna give my daughter to this person. Versus now you have to say, oh, okay, I want this person for you. And yes, you can say things, like, okay, mother or you know that I don't want this person. Is okay, you find somebody else. Like you can still give your opinion, and it's like I'm, I'm for it. So this is my thing, right? Because you know, when we sat down to prepare for this topic, right? And I told you guys I got a bomb. This man went and dropped the bomb before I dropped it, right? And I did not have any discussion with him, right? Because when I sit down and think about arranged marriage, uh, I wouldn't say arranged marriage, right? But it's guiding my kids as to like where I would, I, I believe that it's best for them you know, as far as marriage is concerned. Mm -hmm. And I thought about it the same way, right? Because like I said, we grew up together, right? And we have kids and stuff like that. And, you know, I know you, you know me, and, mm -hmm. and you know, we've been through a lot. So mm -hmm. we know each other's families like that. Whereas your kids married to a family that they don't know, right? And you, you have to literally pray that they get into a, a healthy, you know, um, yes, wealthy. Right? I don't know why people don't like to speak about that because I don't want my kids to marry poor. <laughs> no, I, I, I know, bro, because I know the struggle that I came from, right? And I wouldn't not, I wouldn't like that same struggle for my kids. So when I'm, t I, I keep saying this generation, ger generational wealth, um, is because I really believe that, right? Um, when you take your wealth and put it outside of your environment, somebody else gets a job. 
You know what I mean? So if I'm if we're building together and we are in the circle of friendship that we are together, I I would love for our kids, you know, to to see one another in that light and end up together. So it's not really a range. I would say it's more like guiding them guiding. towards that. You know what I mean? Um so fun fact. In India, right, they have a high rate of arranged marriage in India, right? So there is a great thing about arranged marriage. But again, in India, they have, it's not arranged, it's forcible marriage. Um, what I mean by forcible marriage, like you got these, these men marrying 15 years, forcefully, right? And it goes back to the money issue, right? Um, like, let's say a father is raising a daughter, and you want what's best for your daughter, right? And then the best way for you to, to give that daughter a good life is for them to marry a grown man that has enough to provide for her. Would you call that alliance? Bro, like, I, I was, but it becomes abuse. <laughs> like, like that, that becomes abuse, and, and it's borderline slavery. Mm. It, it, I said borderline. It, it's it's yes. dog on near sick slavery, you know what I mean? Because there's no choice here, right? There's no, like, that little girl have, have no choice. So that's not what I'm, I mean by, like, arranged marriage. So, and that part of it, even back in the days where it was alliances, right, where we try to, you know, bring two families together, uh, it could be for the sake of, of war, uh, for the sake of property, uh, for the sake of um, um, wealth back again. Um, but now... It's just you want a good life for your daughter, and you're offering your daughter at a young age. Society has changed. Yeah, you know, we can't look at back in the day and say, you know, oh yeah, it worked back then, so I'm gonna do the same thing now. That's what I was about to say. Let's. I think we focus on arranged marriages back then. Right. We need to focus on arranged marriages now. Right. The way they arrange marriages. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's, I. I don't. What. Well, I don't mind the arranged marriage part, but the forced marriage, I have a problem with. Um, there's another one, right? So if I know a friend, right? I got a friend, you got a friend. And my friend is single, your friend is single. Oh, I could tell you like, hey, let's get them together, right? That's arranged. You know what I mean? That's arranged. But nowadays what people do, they arrange people with people that are set. Like if I know that you have a PhD, so I, I got somebody that's struggling, I'm gonna arrange with that person, right? Uh, especially in our culture, it's happening now. As soon as you uh, have an education, they wanna arrange with somebody that's, you know, that have nothing, wait. right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop that bomb. Yes, you did. Yeah. Well, what I was referring to is, um, there's different type of arranged marriage, obviously. Like, right. There's the extreme part where you are forced into a relationship. Yeah. And which I don't believe. You can't really do this in this country. You can't force people to do things. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to force somebody to do something, mm -hmm. it's not love anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And my, my take is, you have to get parents involved in yes. their point of view. And that is one of the reasons why I think the divorce rate is so low among the arranged marriage. And to pick you back on what you said earlier, my show, what, let me ask you a question. Big M. Not the little one. Not to what you're going to ask now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you think is the cause of the divorce rate going up? Even among Christians, why do you think is the cause of it going up? Um, because I don't know. <clears throat> let me see. At this point, it's going to be your opinion. So, uh, yeah, because you know, I, I don't know. Maybe because right, I, I think a lot of people, they marriage, okay, if they see how they're getting old, I want to be married by the time I'm 30. So let me hurry up and get married. Instead mm -hmm. of actually finding, waiting on God for mm -hmm. my husband, I go choose him because I'm getting older and I want to have kids. Oh, wait. Let's, let, let, let's, let's pause. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you got me with waiting on God, like to send you a man? Well, I mean, I think, I think that's just how, who that arranged? Ain't got a No, like, I, I hear people say that all the time. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying to make sense of it. Like, waiting on God to send me somebody. You're going to wait forever. You, you got to make a choice. I'm, no. Yeah, yeah, you got to make a choice. If I go and I'm speaking to different men, mm -hmm. I would know, okay, he's not sent by God because this, this is not what I want. I can't see a future with him. So, no, next, this is not... 
the one so, God sent for me. So why does somebody come and tell me, Marjorie, I think this is the person that God wants for you? God got to tell me. God speaks to me too. How much are you going? All right. I All mean, right. but the thing is, okay. how much are you going? I think that, that I'm going to leave it. It's, it's for another talk. <laughs> okay. so, God, whatever you told this person, tell me. We have no. a relationship. So you yeah. think God's not going to tell you this is the right person for you? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't this stop? Like still I, your rich, cause I remember you brought up the story <laughs> of Isaac and Rebecca. And I was reading that story and I, I like it because Abraham wanted, you know, Isaac to get a girl, you know, wife, and then right. he sent the servant. And the servant speak to God and say, God, you know, that's your faithful servant. Do something for right. make sure that I see her. And then God gave Rebecca to because I feel like if God wasn't part of it, the same thing that because the servant was like, if you guys go and read it, and I'm not gonna tell you all of about it. The same thing that he asked God for, that's what Rebecca said. So God mm-hmm. was part of it, and then but when Rebecca come back home, that was a marriage. Right. And I take along Rebecca. So you saying that was an arrangement, right? And God was a part okay. of it. Okay. Yes. So to that point, I have a question, right? So Proverbs eighteen verse twenty two says, right? It says, "He who finds a wife finds a good, good thing. thing, and finds favor from the Lord." Favor. Right? Amen. Do, do you guys think that applies <laughs> to arranged marriage? Yes. Based on everything they were saying now? Yes. Why? It does, because the verse says, he who finds a wife mm-hmm. finds a good thing. Mm-hmm. Even within an arranged marriage. Um, obviously, I cannot speak on, on that because my marriage was not arranged. Mm-hmm. Right? But there's a reason why it's successful. Um, even though, like, myself, like, I have to see this girl, like, you know, back in those days, like, you know, they used to not see the woman until the day of the wedding or after the wedding, right? So I might have a problem with that. But finding a wife, like you're talking about this person is willing to go into this marriage, right? Even if it is borderline force, right? Due to circumstances, right? But they stay within that marriage. They get to experience that person. They get to create that relationship. So, yeah. So he will find a wife, find a good thing. And yeah, they found it. And we can apply it to a healthy arranged marriage. I think it has to apply to both because not every one of us has the opportunity to have good parents mm-hmm. to put us in a position mm-hmm. to find a good wife or husband. Like like you just mentioned, Brother Samuel, your marriage wasn't oh, arranged. Just, just Come on, Faith. Like, you're <laughs> going to you gotta, have to start. Gotta, you're going to have to start. We're going to have to begin to that. Right. Okay. No. <laughs> Faith up, Sam. <laughs> Big M. Big M. Come on now. Yeah. He's not about it back. He's not about it back. Yeah. Well, for example, like your marriage is successful, but it wasn't arranged. No. And, and I, I believe that that verse can apply to every situation. And, and my position is um, the reason that I believe that arranged marriage is more successful than a marriage by choice is because, generally speaking, when we find somebody physically attractive, we just focus on that. Sometimes we don't focus on the intellect or, and, and other things. Yeah, we yeah. just the Bible, the Bible even tells us that that we look on outer appearance, the inner and appearance. God looks at the heart, right? And that's why David was selected among his brothers because God looked at the heart, right? Mm-hmm. But yes. we look at on, on the outside. Outer things. So I think when it comes to arranged marriage, parents. Right, that's my definition of it. Look further than we do because, of course, they have more experience, and generally speaking, they're more wiser. Before you make a mistake, they probably won't be making the same mistake that we made. So that's why one of the reasons I support arranged marriage as opposed to marriage by choice. And I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it start again. Speak on it. I have a question. Why he was saying that? Don't you think when it comes to arranged marriage, it's like by by the parents, they stay married. To please the parents. No. 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 Because divorce is a choice for them. All right? But so you, we can't we can't apply that. I, to me, okay, if you guys, yeah, okay, y'all, our, our kids should date. Right. They're probably going to stay together because y'all put them together. Like, okay, we don't want to make our parents upset. I, or we don't want to break the friendship because the, hmm. y'all bond. We yeah. don't want to break Let that. Me retry my answer. So, Let me retract my answer. Yeah. And yes, if, if, even if, so what? <laughs> so what? So so what? You know what I mean? Like, they, like we putting them together. I'm not telling my kids, like, you have to marry this person, right? I'm telling them, like, I think you should. Well, I, I don't even think I want to do that. 
But I want to guide them to where they, they make that choice themselves. Okay, let's call it a guide. Let's not say so then, So then it's not arranged, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It's kind of arranged because I arranged it. Well, they just no. don't know it. No, no, you're <laughs> I, I, just, I just have a quick tip. Hold on. Are you against it or are you against it? Hey, <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's the reason why he, he want to ask all the questions. <laughs> are you for it or against it? My God, thank you. Where, so, where, listen, where, where, where do you stand? Against. I, where, where do you stand? You no, know, man, listen, I, I, used, I used to L O V E you, not just L O V E you, man. You mm-hmm. trick. Ask me a question. <laughs> no, 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 bro. Like, but we want to, I'm sure that people want to know where does JD stand? Yes. Where do I stand? Yeah. Well, listen, I'm, I'm still a firm believer in he who finds. Mm-hmm. Meaning, if it was a range. Oh, you got to go and find it. Find. So you're not finding yes. it? I don't think that's what it is. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not really for it because, listen, I think that. It can go both ways, right? It can be a pro, a pro and a con. But I think it's very selective and it's very preferential. For so, like for me, for say, I'm not even sure I would even guide my kids. I would give them more so of a, the do's and don'ts, what to look for. But essentially, it would be up to them, obviously, right? Because the Bible tells you that if you teach your kids, right, um, it'll stay with them. Probably. Right? right. So you hope that. When I hope it's going to be true, right? So that's where I'm going to go with that. So I would not really, I'm not really for the arranged marriage. That, that's still that, what you said, fall under guidance, though. Like, yeah, no, I can do guidance. guidance. What, wait, so I was, I, was, I was thinking, right? Because I'm thinking, like, let's, let's talk about today's generation, right? Mm-hmm. So if somebody's like, hey, buddy, like, I found this cute guy, and I want you to meet this person. So I want to meet this person, I'm like, oh, wait, he's totally okay. I'm, you know, like, physical appearance. I'm like, I like mm-hmm. him. And I'm like, well, I don't know yet. Let me still see. Mm-hmm. And the person's like, I already checked his family. Everything is good. You should go. And that arranged. If I go and talk to the person, that is arranged. Um, it's a modern cause day because we have to right, right? Because I'm thinking like today's because I, I understand back then. With Marjorie, where you coming from? Like, if you're against it, if I go back, then I'm like, yeah, I'm against it. Or you know, back in the days, because the way they were doing it, I didn't like it. But today, they just you can set, you can set me up with your friend. But that's not arranged marriage. Why not? But the thing is, if I married this if person, if you get married with that person, it was arranged. By you, mm-hmm. arrange me, please. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna arrange you. So when you get divorced, that's <laughs> gonna play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, if it's done correctly, because because um Sam said some something about force. If it's forced, then okay, I'm against it. But if it's done correctly, that like you arrange somebody for me, and I get to know the person, like I have a say so because I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with this person. Because you, you get to say to yes it. to marrying this person. Yeah, right? I get to stand and say I do. And if I don't, and I don't want to marry you. I don't think I see nothing. You had a question. Oh, she didn't answer my question. Oh, oh she didn't answer. <laughs> but that's that's what that's what I'm thinking because I'm still I'm still forward to it. And there's something that Sam said. About like if somebody arranges you with like you have a PhD and then the person you know the person you know don't have somebody can arrange you with somebody that's lower. I disagree because let's say for example somebody arranged me with a doctor, and I am not in that. I don't have a PhD. Or anything. I'm sure you would not have a problem with that. So yeah. you see, I won't have a problem I, if somebody's hiding me. Of course, me. you would not have a problem with that because the problem is not work with men. The problem is with women. <laughs> is it the problem with two women that give you in a higher yeah. position and then yes a hundred percent I don't know if I like a hundred percent I know that's a different conversation it but is. a man that is successful will more likely bring a woman up than a woman that is successful bringing a man up mm-hmm. that, that's just I don't know if, if you're reading the bible I don't know I, I, I don't believe that because if you really truly a woman like Proverbs thirty first said, and you're reading the Bible, you're supposed to be a helper. You're supposed to be there for your man. You're supposed to respect the man wherever he is. You're supposed to you know elevate this man. If you're reading the Bible, yes. If you like the man, you're gonna make sure this man is the top, like he's the kingdom. Except you know? not every woman is a Proverb thirty one woman. But if you are a Christian, so you should go by the Bible. You keep you saying said if, if you're a Christian. You said well, if. I'm a Christian we, based on saying are, as a Christian. No, but we are talking in general. In general. And in so, general, I cannot apply Proverbs 31. So, I, I mean, every, every, everybody is different. Every relationship is different, obviously. So you're going to have, you're going to find uh, um, a relationship where the man is mostly the motivator. And vice versa, you're going to find 
where you find a prophet 31 a woman and she becomes the person that will bring the land up when the land falls down. So I, I guess every relationship is different mm -hmm. and it depends on who you're asking because we all got different personalities, obviously. So sure. we can't expect uh, the same from everyone. We all unique. So I guess it will depend on the relationship. Yeah. Back to what Evie was saying. Let me see how I say this, how I should say this. Just drop it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. She says she wouldn't mind. Okay, dating somebody with a PhD. Mm -hmm. Of course, some a doctor wouldn't mind dating you if you like if you got something going on. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <Just say. laughs> what? Why are you holding back? I don't want to wet nobody. <laughs> At this point, you're gonna wet a lot of people. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> right. just take a turn. You can't go from you. You gotta pay your man gotta pay, but you can't go out. And you wanna do that for the rest of your life. Yeah. You have it's to have a vision. Work. You have to have the vision. You, you I'm, have to I'm have a goal. goal. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I agree. hundred yeah. percent. Uh, you yeah. have to have something you know, going for your life, you know what I mean? Like in order for you to bring somebody up, like <laughs> they have to want to be brought up. Yeah. You, you know? So if you don't have the vision for yourself, how do you expect somebody else to bring you out of the poverty that you are in? That that does not so how does that apply for me marrying a doctor? You have to have a vision. I do have a vision. Exactly. We're not talking about you. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> she keeps keep no, focusing on the herself. Women have a vision. The women have a vision. Yeah, right? but in general, though, like you know, how many women will have that mindset? You have to think about it. Not many <laughs> will have that mindset. Some people just want to be taken care of. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That that that's what the world is has become nowadays. Right, so a lot of people don't mind the arranged marriage as long as they know that they fall into money. They set for the rest of their life. You, you, you understand? So yeah, yes. that's what I'm not with. That, that's a good one. What? <laughs> I don't know why you're so scared. I know, I was not scared because you know I had to find a way to, to word it the right way. So if I'm getting this right, some of us are well, except well, except we're not we're not really. Arranged marriage. Mm -hmm. right? If it's done correctly, I mean, if it's done correctly. What is done correctly? Mm, yeah. Like, <laughs> if, it, if it benefits both sides, the woman and the man, like, if I am into an arranged marriage, it benefit me, and I know I'm going to be happy in this marriage, and you're going to be happy in this marriage, yes, I am for it. And what is happiness in marriage? There we go. If it benefits. Well, now, here's the thing. If right? it don't benefit, then, then, then that's when we're like, okay, it's wrong, you don't want to be. That's the cause. Well, so let me have, have, I have a question for you. You love your parents. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. So, <laughs> I do. let's say if you're in a, if you were in a situation where you had to get married because your parents were queen and king of Zamunda, and they want to be aligned with the king and queen of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dash, sweetie, I need you. To get married to King Chichala. What what does this sound like? Like <laughs> coming to marriage. Like coming to marriage. <laughs> so what would you do? Because you talk about benefits. Who benefits from these arranged marriages? Do you think that you benefit or would it be just your parents? Does it benefit from it? I feel like in this situation I have to think of like you, love your parents. you said what well, you said. You said my parents are the king and the queen, right? Yep. So I'm the princess. So I I do feel like I have a duty. So mm. now it changed the mindset. She got, she take on her feet. Bro. Like, <laughs> I like that. I was gonna say <laughs> your parents. <laughs> she take on her feet. and your country. <laughs> but I okay. I got one for you. Do you guys believe that you know people that are getting married for the circumstance of like paper, right? Mm. Not, like like you know red uh, um status, right in a country. Are, are those considered arranged? Yes. I mean, it is yeah. considered arranged marriage, but not arranged marriage according to based on love. It's being done based on circumstance, circumstance right? Yeah. Mm. So I, I, I don't look at those marriage into the definition of what we're discussing today. But now, if, if you're looking at modern day arranged marriage, you have to look at it as modern day uh, relationship pretty much. Because I, I want to suggest anybody get married like tomorrow, let's say your parents bring you a man or your your parents bring you another female, say, hey, listen, I want you to marry. I, I, I want to suggest that you marry that person tomorrow 
I would think you want to sit down and find out who that person is, their personality. At least your parents did make that suggestion and you want to consider it. But I want to suggest that you marry him tomorrow. I mean, think about it. If your parents come up to you and say, hey, listen, Marjorie, um, big M. Big M. <laughs> oh my I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Right. 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 Big M. Um, let's say your parents know you more than all of us here, right? They know your personality. They know more about you. They come tomorrow and said. Um, I think you should talk to this guy. How would you react to that? No. Why? I feel like they, once I do start talking to the guy that they want me to talk to, they're going to be too invested. Like, too oh, invested. But, sure. But, but yes, now, mind you, they probably been advising you or suggesting that you talk to this guy because they know you. They they will know that you have something in common with this guy. Mm -hmm. Would you not consider... Just because I have something in common with you does not mean... We're meant for each other. Exactly. So you, but you, you, don't, you will not know that until you actually talk to this person. Mm -hmm. So you don't think that your parents will have your best interests at heart? I do, but, you know, especially the Haitians, they don't know how to mind their own business. Yes. I mean, it's all my fault. <laughs> they don't know how to mind their business. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if they put me down with somebody, they're going to be too invested. Like I said, they're going to be too invested. Oh, how are things? Huh? Hmm? Yeah? But yeah. I, I, I you, believe I, they'll it? be like that even if they didn't, you know, put you down with that person, right? I don't think so. No? All right, so let me ask you an honest question. Like, this is directed to you, right? You're dating right now. Your parents are aware. <laughs> so are they in your face about, like, you know, how is he and, and stuff like that? I, when they don't see him, they'll be like, oh, how is he? So that's the same thing? No, it's going to be different. So they're not so when, invested in, in your relationship right now? When they don't see him, they don't be like, Are they invested he? in your relationship right now, ma'am? Yes, but not too much. They're concerned about the person that you are dating? Are they concerned about him? No. Like his well-being and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 you, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you, it, it, like, to your point, I believe it's the same thing. Yes, it, it, it's the same thing. But I'm, I want to ask a question. Is arranged marriage like is it only for like the parents' benefit or for kind of friend or close relative? We just said that. Like, are Evie? Are you? Wait, wait, wait! No, I'm not here. If, if you if you base <laughs> it on how the Bible talks about it and how it's normally being practiced around the world, the then you parents. have to. It goes through the parents. Correct. Yeah. It goes to the parents. Yeah. You but if we want to, but if we want to modernize it, yeah, friends, friends right. and. and you okay. drop something in our chat about arranged marriages in the church. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> most, most arranged marriage that I know has been successful. In the church? In the church, based in people that I know. No comment. And it's been that, successful. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm not going to vouch for that. And, and the no comment. It's been successful. <laughs> I'm not going to vouch for that. And the reason it's been successful is because the parents are invested a lot more into that marriage than it would had it been a marriage by choice. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're healthy. <laughs> For example, if oh I'm not saying that they're healthy, but they are working. Well not every not, not every relationship. Not every relationship. You know what I mean? Because I know like on working. the outside, I don't know what's going on on the inside. So yeah. I, I cannot vouch for, you know, how healthy that marriage is. But I could vouch for that, you know, they, they are committed. Mm. I mean not not every marriage is perfect and you're gonna have your problem whether it's arranged marriage or whether it's marriage by choice mm -hmm. you're gonna have problems there's no marriage that's without problem you just gotta know how to work around it and if you were involved in an arranged marriage you have you you just know you have that support system there to, to guide you because so you got more support system when it's arranged historically yes yes it, it has been proven that parents Invest oh, more yeah. because they felt like they were the one that put this marriage no, together, it. and they, they would invest more to it. No, so, do you guys think there's there's an actual consequence to arranged marriages? Yes. Give it to me. What do you think about that? Um, you you got to speak up so that they're like. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the example of Princess Diana, and he's now called King Charles. Mm -hmm. So that was arranged, and. 
to be honest, she thought that King Charles loved her, but mm. it wasn't love. It was more like for like her to make her look good and make him look good. So, cause she's like a cute, pretty Caucasian girl that looks innocent, you know, she has a pretty face. And this whole time, he had a whole side chick named Camilla. Oh, you on her. Oh. <laughs> 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 I didn't know King and Charles had, had Camilla on the and side. And when his mom was alive, yeah. she knew this whole time that he was cheating on Princess Diana. But she's like, oh no, it's for the throne. You guys have to be together. But is that the person that, oh, I don't know what I'm talking so about. Now, <laughs> like, so, so now, you just said something like that's, that's interesting. So now, we say that as long as the parents are involved and, and they were right? involved right yeah and you know it's going to be successful however you just dropped an example where it was not she's keeping a secret to protect her son so he's gonna be the next well he's king now for the throne so she does do we, what she did. can we still agree mm-hmm. that in it's not in all it's not in all factors or all facet that parents and involved in this stuff is good i think we we did i I determined that from the beginning. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's it's like like for us, right? Um, I love my parents and I love my, my, my in-laws, right? But there's certain things in my relationship I don't really need them to be a part of. Yeah. Right? They they need to keep their nose where it belongs. It's not your marriage. I didn't marry you, I married your daughter, right? And and vice versa, right? She didn't marry my, my parents, she married me. Right, so there's certain things like I wouldn't want my parents to be all up in my business about, but you know, there and and likewise, there are other things. Uh, it, it's good to have your parents around for, you know. I, th- I think it's the motive behind the um, arranged marriage. Yes. When I'm saying this, like with her example, she you know it was all about the throne versus like from what Jules is talking about, your parents want to be involved because they want the best for you. If you want the best for your daughter, you're going to make sure the person that your daughter is married to, you're going to make sure you'll be involved in, okay, I want to make sure you, it's like a counselor. Mm-hmm. Like a ter- you have a therapist, you have somebody here that can guide you guys, be like, you guys are married, how is it going? They're not trying to break down your marriage, because there are different people that can come in to break your marriage, versus I want you guys to be good, I want you guys to move forward. So I think it's the motive. And there's always consequences on like a good decision or a bad one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's up, Mr. Jerry? You have a question? Oh, it's not a question, it's a comment. Mm-hmm. Well, Queen Elizabeth mm-hmm. thought like she was doing the best for them, mm-hmm. but however, Kamala, like she was doing the best. So. Right, but she believed she was. Yeah. Man, bro, like th- this was a great topic. Um, I think if we continue with this, we go on all night, uh, <laughs> or all day, or all evening, um, whenever you check out the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> all right. Um, but I- I'm happy that we had the discussion. Uh, please drop your comments, your likes, subscribe, subscribe yes. right? We need your support 100%. This is self-funded. Uh, so we would like to have your your support on this. And the way that you can support us is by liking, subscribing, uh, leaving a comment. Um, if you have any questions, just drop it on the chat or follow us on Facebook or IG um, at Tap In, um, Yago Podcast. Uh, and we'll be great. We will be happy to respond back to you. Yeah. Also, if you wanna have a topic that you want to be uh, elaborate on, do drop it on the chat. Drop it on the chat. Drop, <laughs> drop, drop it on the chat. All right. <laughs> if you really wanna know why, disagree. Inbox me. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You could hit us on the side. Right. We'll be more than happy to answer Inbox whatever me. question you guys have. Uh, and it was great tonight to have, like I said, one of our great friends, uh, Jules. Uh, he came through and. <laughs> and uh, he gave us some, he dropped some down there. He did, he did. Yeah. Right, uh, and that's coming, bro. Hey, thank, thank you all for having me. We, we're not only friends, we family. Man. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we mean that. Yeah, we, we mean we, that. We brothers and sisters in Christ. I've known these um, group of um, hosts oh, and hostess for a long time, so. That's it. You're not coming back till you get our names right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once again, this was your boy, Faith Up Sam, and I was here with Evie, JD, Big M, not the little one, and the one and only, Jules Etienne. So until next time, go ahead and tap, 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 tap in. in. Let's go.